Oh my. <coughs> oh God, it tastes like sushi. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And yes, I'm still not in my Houston home. So we have this filming set up, but the lighting is much better than the last videos I filmed. So I'm excited about that. Uh, what we're gonna be doing today is I will be showing you this capsule makeup collection of sorts that I put together for the three weeks that I am spending visiting my mother-in-law. So this pretty much is the bare minimum in terms of like makeup steps, but also enough to like fly, like fly, you know? So that's pretty much all the intro we need. Let's go through this little bag. Um, I was also very minimal in terms of packing brushes and the items, like the makeup items I picked are pretty much okay being applied with the hands. So in terms of brushes, I have just two face brushes, e.l.f. highlighting brush, which I actually use for bronzer and blush. <laughs> and then I also have this Alamar Cosmetics uh, brightening brush. So both of these are like fat highlighting brushes and I can use this for pretty much the same things or for setting powder, like in the T-zone. Okay, okay. And then just a couple eye brushes. They're nothing special, just like a relatively fluffy, it's not focused. Yeah, like a relatively fluffy brush and then this kind of like more flat precision, but still fluffy brush. So those are all the brushes, you know, just these little four. And then now let's open her up and see what's inside. Okay, so I opened up my bag and I actually have another little bag in here because this other little bag is like the actual bare minimum that I can put on my teeny bathroom counter because it's one of those like single sinks that doesn't really have counter space. So this is like what I can just keep on there. And then this is back in my room. So instead of going through steps, let me actually just show you like what's in this little bag and then everything else. So I actually don't even have a foundation in here because I've been wearing like a tinted sunscreen every day. I'm gonna make another one of these videos like a what I packed for the month minimalist skincare collection or something like that with all the skincare I brought, but this is the makeup centered one. So I've mostly been starting the day with like a tinted sunscreen of sorts and I haven't been wearing any kind of foundation product on top of that. Here's everything I have in that little baggie and um, the closest thing to like complexion I have is this the Siam Cover Perfection Tip Concealer in the shade two. Recently, instead of using a full like foundation or tinted base, I have just been spot concealing like my hormonal acne, for example. Started my period a couple days ago, so. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Next thing I have to have is of course, just some kind of brow product. And I've been opting for this. This is the e.l.f. Wow Brow in the like soft black. Oh, it's just called black in the black shade, which the black color isn't available at Ulta. So I bought this directly from the e.l.f. website. Anyways, this is the only brow product that I've been using pretty much every day, but I did pack another brow product in my bigger bag. I am wearing both the e.l.f. brow gel and this Sime concealer on my face. And I'm also not wearing, um, I'm not wearing a foundation today either. So I, I kind of did do my face with this little baggie and then um, smudged some eyeshadow on with my fingers. I'll talk about that later. And then like the next bare minimum thing for me is a mascara. I only packed one mascara for the entire month. This is the Wander Beauty Mile High Club. It's a tubing mascara and I packed this one just cause it's easy to wash off. And I generally think it gives me enough volume and length for me to be happy with it being the only thing I bring. Um, and a little eyelash curler. So these three products are like true bare bones. I do have an additional three products in this little baggie that like don't take up a lot of space. So firstly, I have this Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil in the shade zero, which is like black, um, just in case I wanna tight line my top lash line to look a little more full. And I also didn't pack a, <laughs> I didn't pack a, a sharpener for this. So this is like almost to the end of its usefulness cause I can't sharpen it. I don't wanna scrape raw wood against my eyes. And then the next couple of things are this Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Blush. It's in my project pan, so I brought it along. And another thing that I can just tap on with my fingers and not to use any brush for. And lastly, I have this e.l.f. Rider Dye Lip Balm in the shade Tough Cookie. And I actually found this a few videos back. I said I like lost it somewhere, but I found it in one of my travel bags because I take it traveling. I, I like it, it gives enough color. It's balmy, so it's really comfortable. Um, I don't mind wearing it under a mask. It will smudge a bit, but it doesn't like smudge around the face. It just slightly like stamps the mask. And that is everything that is in my like true minimal, minimal makeup bag. Now I have all the other fluff. So for this, I'm gonna just hold this up like the whole time and take things out and talk about them. So first I have the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil in the shade 04, True Beige Buff, also in my project pan. Um, 
And I like this because I can apply it with my fingers. It's pretty light coverage, it has a nice gel texture, and it's just very, very comfortable, and it doesn't make me look oily by the end of the day. I've talked about this like so much on my channel. If you've been watching me for any, any length of time, you've heard me talk about this. Next, I have the e.l.f. Active Workout Ready Lip and Cheek Palette. All right, so here's how that looks on the inside. It has a highlighter, like a bronzy blush color, and then a couple other blush shades. And this one I used like one time so far. Um, I just find that I'm not really doing cheek products nowadays <laughs> because if I leave I'm wearing a mask and these products are like very 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 creamy like very balmy in texture so it would just rub right off so <laughs> I packed this because it is a cream bronzer blush and highlight all in one so it's compact if I wanted to use something like that. Next, oh, I actually forgot I had this. This might've been useful today for filming because I I pretty much just have the tinted sunscreen and then that Siam concealer on a couple of my hormonal breakouts. Um, but I did pack the Milani Conceal and Perfect um, in the shade 120, which is light vanilla. And I packed this because that Siam concealer is a little dark for under my eyes. I used it today. It's just like the exact depth of my skin, but I did bring this if I wanted to ever conceal my under eyes some more. Next, I did pack a powder. I have the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. And again, I've used this like just a couple of times um, because my tinted sunscreen, let me get it. I have it next to me. My tinted sunscreen that I've been using kind of in place of foundation is this Bliss Blockstar one. And it's pretty mattifying. Like it doesn't leave me shiny or glowy. So I haven't super needed to use this powder a lot, but I did bring it along. Oh, for brows, um, I have my ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil in the like dark brown, oh, it's called black and brown. And just for any given day, I'll use either the e.l.f. Wow Brow that's tinted and it's actually quite tinted. So it shows up a lot in my brows or um, I'll go in with this brow pencil and just do like a thin line and then blend it out with this spoolie. I'll um, talk about these little like, just these little things hanging out in here and then the two like palette items. So a couple of lip items, I have the Glossier Mango Balm.com. It's pretty, um self-explanatory. And then I also have this L'Oreal, uh, like the Rouge Signature Matte Lip Stain in the shade I Tease. It's my favorite of all time. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. And I like that it truly stains the lips and it doesn't come off on masks. And also it's a very neutral color, so easy to wear for the everyday. Ooh, I have like two other little things floating in here. I have the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the, sh in the pear flavor, scent, whatever. <laughs> and then I also have the Milani Make It Last setting spray, which um, I thought maybe I would use more because I because of the mask thing, but I actually haven't been using this a ton either. I do have a, a brush on sunscreen, like the powder one. And after I use that, I do spray it down because um, it's like a lot of powder to get the sunscreen protection. Okay, lastly, let's talk about these couple little palette thingamajigs. So for eyeshadow, Actually, let me talk about the other one. Um, this is just this custom magnetic palette I got. And in it, there's the Powder Hula Bronzer, the Milani Blush in Luminoso, and then this is five out of the six um, shadows in my project, Pan Those Eyeshadows, as well as just a basic black and this other random Natasha Denona shade that I haven't been using. So all in all, like this is pretty much everything I need. I didn't even need to bring this other palette, but I wanted to bring a couple other more interesting eyeshadow options if I was ever feeling bored or if I wanted that. <laughs> this is a custom palette that I put together in the Pretty Guardian palette packaging. Um, I actually did make a whole video on assembling this, so I'll link that up in the eye and in my description box. But I wanted to bring this because this truly has every shade I could need or want for a neutral or like a, a little towing outside the, the boundaries of neutral eye look. So today I'm actually wearing, um, I'm wearing this shade, which is from the So Jaded palette and it's the shade Tiger Eye. And then on top of that, I layered the duochrome one from the Raw Beauty Christie palette. And on my inner corners, I popped a little bit of this pearly shade. So that's what went into like this look right here today. Um, but for any given day here, just on vacation, I'll pick a single shade of this, maybe this duochrome, maybe this darker shimmer, maybe just one of these pinks and just smudge that on my eyes. And it gives me a little, a little bit of definition and um, enhancement of my natural eye shape. That is everything. So I'll put everything back in this bag so we can just have a quick recap of what's included. So this little magnetic palette, nice. My custom eyeshadow palette, this e.l.f. cream cheek palette that has 
um, all the cream products I could want for my lips or my cheeks. Uh, powder, this tinted skin veil, a concealer, a setting spray, um, a few lip items, which includes like two balms and one stain, and this brow pencil. And then within my like true bare minimum bag, I have a concealer, a brow gel, a mascara, an eyeliner, a little cream powder blush, and another lip balm. Yeah, so this has been my life for essentially the entire month of May. And um, <laughs> it's been a while since we've had these like travel makeup bag YouTube videos. Um, so just brought her back today, I brought her back. Plus it's always fun for me to see what people like pack when they leave the home because it truly is like their bread and butter, their top, top favorites. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up and that helps me out and would make me very happy, y'all. And also leave me a comment below because I love talking to y'all. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember that y'all are my treasure. Find the beauty in every day, but most importantly, be kind to yourselves. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.